Let's balance the very light BMPCC on the same stabilizer. This camera and small cameras like this require the adapter plate. Adapter plate helps adjust the camera's center of gravity for the roll axis. Watch Alice closely as he adjusts the stabilizer. Pay close attention to how Alex adjusts the camera forward and back. He's watching to see which side rises and falls. Now he's adjusting the roll axis. He'll either adjust the roll arm in and out in order to find that center of gravity. Due to the size of this camera, we're unable to balance the yaw axis. But this isn't a problem because the DS1 will still be able to provide stability. Remember to lock in each axis. No need to over tighten. The factory PID is surprisingly pretty well tuned. This camera setup is right around 400 grams. One of the reasons why this camera setup works so well is because the camera's mass is very close to the center of gravity. Now we're going to change the lens to the 14 to 42. Because we changed the lens, we'll need to readjust the balance of the stabilizer. Pay close attention to how Alex adjusts the camera forward and back. He's watching to see which side rises and falls. Once he feels an axis is balanced, he'll move on to the next. Now he's adjusting the roll axis. He'll either adjust the roll arm in and out in order to find that center of gravity. Looking pretty good. Alex suggests to tighten the bottom screw first, then the top screw. And to check once again the balance, because during tightening, the gimbal can shift. After the roll axis, Alex is going to move on to balancing the yaw. Small cameras with light lenses can be difficult to balance on the yaw axis. Here, Alex is demonstrating another way to test the yaw balance.
but Alex has noticed some vibrations, and what he's going to do is switch the camera into Profile 3. The reason to use Profile 3 is because it is designed to work with light cameras like the Pocket Black Magic. Just press the board button three times to enter Profile 3. And along with Profile 3 is Profile 4, which is a lock mode. The Beholder DS1 contains up to five profiles. Profile 1 is a follow mode. Profile 2 is a lock mode. Profile 3 is accessed by pressing the board button three times. This is a follow mode for light cameras like the Pocket Black Magic. Profile 4 is once again accessed by pressing the board button four times. This profile is a lock mode for light cameras such as the BMPCC. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you want the best in camera stabilization, don't forget that Al Dolly delivers the best in customer support for your Beholder DS1 or MS1. From repairs to troubleshooting, Al Dolly offers 100% product support.